Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildberry Island where we're taking just a moment tonight to go ahead and enjoy a fresh cup of coffee. Flavors at its peak when it's served at 176.31 degrees. Better drink it while it's fresh. Now that is actually way too hot. Uh, it's still too hot. Still too hot! I get the sense that you like your coffee on the lukewarm side. I sure do. You don't say, hmm? Okay, coffee time. <laughs> I've never had him talk like that before. That's really cute. Ah, but there we go, friends. The depth of flavor expands at this cooler temperature. It seems like no matter what Brewster makes, he absolutely brews up something delicious. So now that we've had a uh, lovely little coffee with him, thank you very much, Brewster. Let's go ahead and get this day started with the day. Let's see. Today is day 16 of our Wildberry Vlogmas adventures. I'm so proud of us, you guys. We've actually managed to do so much on the island and we still have so much more to do to really celebrate the winter season. It's actually winter solstice coming up pretty soon too, which will be the day of the year that has the least amount of sun, at least in the Northern hemisphere here. Um, I'm not sure how that actually works in the like Southern hemisphere and if the solstices are like flipped or not. Hmm. That's actually something I should definitely look into, especially if we ever do end up getting another switch in some point and creating an Australian island like I've been thinking about doing. Hmm. But anyway, those are dreams for later. For now, friends, we have work to do because I accidentally popped into Wildberry at night and it actually looks so amazingly beautiful. So we're going to see all of the lights lit up. We're going to be able to see where all of our cute little tree of bounties do add quite a bit of lovely light to the village. And we are also going to check in on the campsite. Hang on one second. I'm going to go ahead and collect our ruse rooster roost coffee break. I've been catching some snowflakes. And I have been trying to build this gosh darn freaking snow folk all day. And I keep kicking the pieces into like a, a wall or something and they shatter. So I've had enough with the building snow folk. Uh, but I also have something amazing to show you guys in the nookling shop today. We're going to sell all of these torsos and everything that I've, well, you know, saying I have a bunch of torsos in my pocket sounds creepy. We're going to sell all of these fossils and just assume that that comes from Diva's archaeology research because I'm going to need a lot of money for the special items the Nooklings are selling. Oh yeah, and while we're here, let's dig through some of the gifts that I've been collecting. Some of these presents are actually from the Winds Above Wild Berries. So let's open them up and see if they're a DIY. A batter's helmet, not a DIY. Come on, DIY. And a hanging light bulb, not a DIY, but oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That is one of like the coolest new ceiling lamps that you can possibly get. People can make such amazing mod, like beautiful cafes with the ceiling light. So that's gonna turn out fantastic. All right, but I also had another vine island today, which let me collect a whole bunch more glowing moss and a bunch more vines. And I got the cave yesterday, which we need to build at some point. This is from Meow. And oh, the boulder, you guys, the glowing moss boulder. We are so building that today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's only one DIY that I know of now that I don't have that I absolutely want. This is so exciting. All right, let's go sell these fossils. And then we are immediately going to go check in on the nooklings, grab the special item and build ourselves a glowing boulder. Hey, Blathers, it was so good to see you. Bye. I oh, yeah. the only DIY we're missing from the Vine Islands that I know about that I really want now is actually the one that lets us go ahead and create stickers. And those are really, really important for making some amazing designs in houses, but we'll talk about that later. For now, let's go see the Nooklings and sell them a bunch of bones. And buy this look at the fire pit you guys wouldn't this be perfect for a little winter market and even if it like not for a winter market it would be absolutely perfect for our campsite too however the downside is that this thing is like ninety-eight thousand bells so how do you do today boys let's go ahead and sell you a bunch of bones 
Oh, and Kix is also here. And Kix, I want to check what he's got in case he's got something really cute to go ahead and buy today. I already got the dollhouse from the boys. This festive wreath was actually given to me by Audi so that I could go ahead and celebrate having um, a really wonderful winter season. So Audi is definitely feeling fantastic. I thought about giving it back to her because I really like my snowflake wreath. And then there's my tree of bounty light. And then there's the hanging light bulb. Okay, and then what's this? The Imperial Lamp, which I just bought today too. I'll try to go back home at some point so I can show you guys what these look like. All right, there you go, boys. Phew. Thankfully, just enough to go ahead and cover this fire pit. 96,000 bells. Okay, I was a little off on how much it cost, but that's still so much. <laughs> However, I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go ahead and put it out in our future Christmas market area. And I planned on doing more work over there, but let's definitely spend some time over at the campsite and see if any of the villagers are cooking tonight. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and move this over to where the train area is going to be. Hey, Bubbleoids! Being adorable as usual, I see. And then this is going to be like our Christmas market zone. So I think what I want is to actually turn this section and some of this section into like actually really truly where I want the fire pit is kind of where I have this little island so I should probably go ahead and just terraform that while I'm thinking about it also look how beautiful everything looks all lit up at night these snowy fences look so cool I really love them all right so let's see I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna have cliffscaping Okay, can't do cliffscaping. Let's do waterscaping. And there we go. It was a really cute little, like, itty bitty moat protecting our precious flowers in theory. However, we have more work we're going to do. Look at the snowflakes just flying in the background. Oh, I hope we are able to find a whole bunch more. Let's see. Of the DIYs pretty soon. All right. And we're going to clear out these orange trees. Which is a really kind of a big deal for me. Because you guys know how much I love the orange trees. And look at how cute all the baby cedar trees we planted are. I actually want to plant a whole bunch more of the cedar trees right here where we took out these orange trees. And maybe even keep them small so that they would look really adorable. Like a little, uh, like a little tree farm. So if you wanted to come and get Christmas trees, you could get them from over here. All right, let's move these stumps out of the way. And then we're gonna move that precious, precious rare flower. I'm gonna have to figure out where we're gonna move my green mums for now. The green mums are pretty rare. And I, I consider them and the purple hyacinth, hyacinths to be the specialties of Wildberry. All right, so I think I'll move... I'll move my green mum down here for now for storage. And the lily of the valley is so beautiful and so special. I think I'll leave it out during this time of year. Because it really sort of looks like a snow flower of some type. And then let's go ahead and put down this new fire pit, which I'm so excited about. All right, let's see. Oh, it looks so good, you guys! I can't wait for the villagers to use this. This is adorable. We need to see if we actually have some cool chairs that we can put around the fire pit. Um, gosh, and then how else to decorate this area? Yeah, and maybe grow, like I said, maybe grow some tiny little cedar trees down here, which means I'm gonna move the fire pit up a little bit. We're gonna move this thing out of the way eventually, but I might wanna go ahead and put some sort of decoration there. So let's search inside of our storage. I'm so happy that we can actually <laughs> utilize storage from anywhere on the island now. It's still like magic to me, friends. And then let's see if I have any nice outdoor seating things that make me really happy. Let's see. There we have stone stools, but that seems like it'd be really cold to sit on, right? This time of year. Oh my gosh, is this actually oh, the crescent moon chair? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so do I actually really not have anything to sit on other than like cushions on the ground? 
I mean, don't get me wrong, that'd be cute, but I, I sort of wanted, like, those log chairs. Have I never made one of those log chairs before? Like the ones that we decorated Vesta's house with? Oh my word, Siri, why do you have, like, why do I have the most random stuff? And yet when the time comes to finally do something, like, useful, like build a thing, I don't actually have it! Like, what the heck? Siri, you goose! All right, let's check DIYs. I'm so building this cave and totally going to be building this glowing moss boulder in just a second here. Um, let's see, housewares. So I could make more log, this thing, the log chairs. Okay, so we need a bunch of hardwood for the log chairs. I feel like we need to build a few of those to put around. Let's get some wood out. The fireplace. Because that would just fit really, really well. Alright, where, oh where? Aha! So I'm going to grab a few of these wood pieces. We might have to, like, chop down more trees. <laughs> but that's okay. Any trees we chop down, we'll try to replace with the cedar trees to get more festive trees sprinkled about. And, oh, maybe we can actually sit on the boulder! <gasps> okay, so we're going to craft a couple of these log chairs. It might be cute to craft a log bench as well to see if the extra log... Okay, so you need two log chairs in order to craft a bench. That's so cute! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it to see if the villagers want to hang out at the, the chair together. Or, like, sit together. There we go. I wonder if I have a pile of wood. Do you make a pile of wood? Because I know we have that as a item that you can have. I might have to look around. That makes me very curious. All right. We're going to make another log chair. I'm so proud. We're crafting it ourselves. I love our skating rink, too. And then, let's see. So, if I wanted a log bench, I'm going to need more hardwood. And if I wanted, like, a cute little log stool, which I kind of do, then I'm going to need more hardwood. So, we'll have to collect more hardwood there. But for now, let's see. What other favorites can I make? <gasps> let's do it! The glowing moss boulder! Ah, I'm so excited about this! Yes! Okay, let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like, like, immediately. I am so tickled. Alright. And glowing moss boulder. <gasps> and it glows! Oh, I'm so happy! These are going to be decorated all over Wildberry. Are you kidding me? This is like the best thing I have ever seen. Okay, so now that I have a gigantic glowing moss boulder, I think you can actually customize these because I've seen some people grab these boulders. <gasps> Turquoise. You can make it blue like a big pile of ice. Or you could make it yellow or red, which actually makes it look like something from, like, another another world. What the heck? The blue gives me some ideas, too. White, gray, and I've seen some people make them white so that you can try to make them look more like a pile of snow. So we're going to actually take a peek at that in just a second. And then we can also customize the log chairs. Oh, and I totally customized that clipboard already, trust me. All right, so we're going to leave the wood dark, but we're going to do a custom design, and let's go down to all the cute little snow things. Oh, all the, oh, poinsettias! <laughs> we could do, like, a cute little snowman, or we could do poinsettias, or we could do, like, these hollies. Let's do the hollies! Yes! Oh, I might need to go ahead and, like, buy more of these customization things. And wait a second, did it say I could customize the fence? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I had no idea you could customize the fence too. Okay, that's gonna look really cool once we manage to get some more of the DIYs. All right, and meanwhile, let's do another holly so that they match. I'm very happy with that. I wonder if I can unlock customizing the color of the cushions if I actually went over and visited with Reese. That's gonna have to be something we investigate. But all right, now that that is done, let's go ahead and see what everything looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, you guys. I really like it. Okay, let's move things around a little. 
so that all the villagers will have room to move. I think we ran into, we're running into the problem we ran into before, where when you put the, yes, it's not quite even, unfortunately, with the fireplace, because it's like a one tile item, and the log chairs. Let's see. Let me scooch this a little closer. And then maybe put this over here. So we can walk through there. You can't walk through over here. Okay, I'll scooch everything over one more. And then I will definitely have to move that stall at some point too. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think I am going to want or need to... Here, maybe if I do it like this. Is that a little no it's still ah why does the log why does the long chair have to be why does the big long chair have to like ruin the flow but what i might do is actually put a like little cluster of wood over here can i not do that as a diy let's find out because i'm pretty sure that should be like a diy like a aha right here i can't too make firewood Let's go make some firewood, and then we'll come back and we'll put the little snow pile down, and then we'll go visit with Kix, and then we're gonna go see who's at the campsite! Oh, this is so thrilling! We're making like a little campfire area. I think I want to change what's actually under the campfire, too, and maybe put down, hmm, maybe some stone? Something just to make it a little more appealing. So let's actually look. I could put down a custom design. Hmm. I could make a snow angel. I could put a big snow pile next to it, which would be kind of cute. Uh, let's actually put the stone path. And I'm gonna make the stone path like this, I think. Maybe? Maybe the stone path will save me at making everything kind of a little more even. Maybe. Alright, hang on one second. Let's see what, what it looks like with the fire pit here. Alright, fire pit. So I think what we'll do... I've got a vision now. Alright, let's grab this. And then we'll make the corners. Whoops, no! Let's smooth out the corners, guys. Like so. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see which one of the like Wildberry villagers actually uses this for the first time. Aha! Okay, so yeah, what I actually want, now that I'm looking at it, what I do want is it just to be like a 4x4 four four spot, I think. Alright, let's smooth this corner out. And then we're going to smooth this corner out. And now here is the moment of truth. If I go ahead and put down the chunk of firewood. Let's see. Will I be content with this layout? Or will I want to move everything around? We're going to push this over one. And then we're going to put the log chair back down. I'm going to want I'm going to want it to be down a little bit. I can already tell. Oh, to match the fire pit. All right, we're probably gonna get rid of the large log chair, unfortunately. It feels like The Sims before The Sims got a little bit better about being able to like put things off grid. <laughs> Where you're like, I just, I can't handle it. It's too much. All right, there we go. There, a little there. And then let's do the log chair. Oh, I love our, our moss boulder. We're gonna have a good time with that. Glowing chair over here. And then we're going to go ahead and put down the fire pit. Very expensive, almost 100,000 bell fire pit. Hmm. Pull this back a little. Ugh. Why is everything so hard to build? There we go. Dang it! No, it isn't even now! Oh gosh darn it! Siri, you were onto something and now you're not onto something and now everything is just like, oh, chaos. All right. Well, Siri is silly, guys. And now that I'm looking at it again, I realize, wait a second, I did like how it was set up. It was a little, maybe, oh, is it too wide? 
No, I want it to be that big. All right. Never mind. I'm just an absolute goose. But don't worry. Like, whenever things like this happen, sometimes I feel a little shy. Like, oh no, I should have showed everybody, like, a much more professional way to build. But the fact of the matter is, I'm usually so busy working on the story and the characters of what we- of who we have in Wildberry Island, I don't usually spend a lot of time worrying and focusing on, like, what we're actually building. So these building skills are still very new for me. And it's important, I think, to show people, like, as you figure out a vision, a dream, and you try to make it, like, come real, how tricky that can be sometimes. Because then it encourages people, even if they have a hard time sometimes. I really like this holly. I kind of want to put some of it on the ground so bad. Oh, that's so cute! Yes! <laughs> but I think that encourages people, even if they have a, a hard time sometimes, to be willing to go ahead and try to do some experiments themselves. Ergo, that's why I don't show you guys, like, the perfect thing when I've got it 100% figured out. I try to also show you, like, all of the hiccups when Siri's like, why did I do that? Why, oh why did I do that? Because then maybe you'll be able to figure out what you want to do a little easier too. All right. Like that? That's awesome. I really like that. We'll, we'll start sprinkling some of the glowing moss around too. <gasps> and speaking of glowing moss! All right, let's try this puppy out. Glowing moss folder. Oh. All right, let's move this guy then. Glowing moss boulder, go! <gasps> A giant pile of snow! Look at that, oh my gosh. It kind of looks like weird snow this way. I'm not sure what I think about it, to be honest. I love it, and yet at the same time, it doesn't quite fit my vision for what goes over here just yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down here, just for now. And I might even go ahead and put in some of the frozen fencing around it, just a little bit, just to kind of accent this area a bit more. And then over here, maybe, yeah, I'm probably going to move all of this at some point, but you know, we're, we're working on it, we're working on it. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put the little, yeah, maybe probably up here, the little trail of the cedar trees. Which means probably right here. Aha! Okay, that's probably what we'll do. Because we're going to have a whole bunch of little cedar trees for a teensy little adorable tree farm. Which I think will be so cute. Hmm. And I think we'll take this one down. There we go. Maybe put one over here? That seems to work out well. And then this over here will probably be where we have the train. Like, beginning. All right, I just, I'm just looking for more excuses to use the frozen fencing, to be completely honest, because it's kind of amazing. But that's enough for now. All right, so now that that is done, I think we're going to wrap up by going ahead and checking who is actually up. Oh, like, look at all this. This is so cute. Checking who is inside the campsite. Oh, and I need to give Blanche and everybody some gifts real quick. Okay, I did pick up a whole bunch of that flower and I did want to see if anybody is cooking so let me grab the sugar over here the flour oops okay well I can make some cherry things and we're just gonna check if Cranston's cooking if he's not I will immediately pop back out because we need to rush over to the campsite before the end of the night which is coming up so soon Cranston I love you you're not cooking though okay and he totally didn't even notice I was there we're cool all right because I would love another recipe and let's go! Got a big fire pit. It cost so much money, but it was so totally worth it. Because with that big fire pit, we now have a really nice little area for the villagers to rest. All right. Oh yeah, and kicks! <gasps> oh my gosh. All right. Let's go ahead and cook really, really fast. I always end up going too long because I, I have so many tasks to do in Wildberry. Alright, excellent, excellent. But you know, oh, tomorrow we're going to have to look for a new villager too. Oh my goodness. But with the villagers actually like thinking about moving around, like I really want to make sure we can get a gift from Audie before she wants to move away. Because if Audie moves away, who knows when we'll be able to get her back. 
it's very difficult to get her card. Like, her card just got crafted in the new set, and I don't know anybody who's actually going to be able to get their hands on the new series of Animal Crossing cards. All right. And the launch! I love how you stop by to chat with me, my dear. That's all it takes to make me think it'll be a good day. Oh, Blanche, you're so sweet. I love the place lit up at night. Maybe we'll start visiting at night more often because it's so beautiful with all the lights. Oh my, did you know that one of my favorite things is orange pound cake? All right, thank you very much, Blanche. And a fast food uniform. Okay, not your photo, but I think we are ever deepening our friendship. And then Audi, hey! Checking out the future Christmas market area, eh? I built a snow person that's so cold to the touch, but so fluffy and adorbs that I just want to hug it. Lucky, I cannot build a snow person to save my life lately. Alright, let's go ahead and deepen our friendship with Audi through food. There you go, Audi. A flight jacket! That's the second flight jacket we've gotten. Ah, I wonder if the, like, the birds are practicing flying and sharing it with the rest of the villagers. But alright, last place to go ahead and check is the campsite! And I'll let you guys know tomorrow if I find a recipe hiding in one of the other villagers' houses. And what do we have here? Who's visiting? <gasps> Hello, little one! Fiddlebert! <laughs> He's very adorable. However, I do have his card, so I think it's just fun to go ahead and say hello to cute little Filbert, who would probably be a really great friend for Cranston, and uh, let him enjoy the day of camping. And then tomorrow, we will hopefully be welcoming, or at least hinting at who we will be welcoming, to the island because Shari will be moving out and I will be going villager hunting, and we'll see who ends up catching my eye. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure to Wildberry Island. There's still so much to do, but I'm really happy that we actually took the initiative and we got some projects done today. <gasps> and Kix! Alright Kix, what do you got? Let's see. I like those embroidered shoes. <gasps> a little bear backpack and a little tiny flower print tote. All right. I think we got ourselves a little polar bear, guys. I gotta try this on. This looks really cute. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. Thank you very much, Kix. Thank you, thank you. And... Oh, that's really cute! <laughs> and now we have a little polar bear outfit! Or a little backpack that come with us! Alright, this was a very successful day. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me in Wildberry Island and for the discovery of our glowing boulders. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious! And I'll see you guys next time! Bye bye